Okay, this is the um, solution to the in-class um, exercise I asked. So um, in the exercise, I um, told you that we've got a 600 megawatt steam power plant. Okay, and it has a thermal efficiency of 40%. And this plant's being cooled by a nearby river. So you asked to, first of all, in your solution state, the assumptions that you make, uh, determine the rate of heat transfer to the river water. And also then you asked to consider um, Will the actual what will the actual heat be transferred will be higher or lower than this value and why okay so how do you do this first of all draw a sketch always draw a sketch um so we've got our two um our heat source which is a furnace our heat sink which is a river we're supplying heat to our heat engine and we're rejecting heat to the river and this is what we're trying to work out ql now you're told that it's a 600 megawatt plant so you know that's the network that's being done by the heat engine and we're also told that the thermal efficiency is um, 0.4 or 40 percent. Okay, so the assumptions are that the plant is steady state and heat losses are negligible. Now, from the thermal efficiency, which if you remember, that's the um, uh, what we want to get out, which is a network over the heat that we have to put in, which is QH. Then we can find QH because if we rearrange for that, then we've got work over the thermal efficiency so QH is um, 1500 megawatts and what goes in must come out so we know that um, what goes in is 1500 megawatts 600 uh, megawatts of it is coming out as work so the remainder the remaining 900 megawatts must be being rejected to the river so the amount of heat that's being rejected is 900 megawatts will it be higher or lower well the heat transfer to the river will be lower because in our assumption, we've assumed that heat losses are negligible. Um, and we know in practice this isn't true. And some heat will be lost to the surroundings as this heat is being rejected to the river.